Hey everybody, welcome back to Judah Highlights and today we're going to look at the heavyweight king, Teddy Rainier. But before we get into that, can you make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell as well. It would help me out a lot. Anyway, Teddy hasn't looked his best in recent years. He gained a bit of weight and he had that one loss against Kageura. But apart from that one loss, he still remains uh, to be the one person to beat on the international circuit. Uh, despite facing some tough competition in recent years from Tasuev, Kripalik, Harasawa and Kageura, who I mentioned. Anyway, let's get into some of his recent highlights, starting with the highlights from the Masters in Doha in 2021. So here we see Rainier with his uh, over-the-head top grip, dominating the smaller opponent and countering him well for Ippon. And here we see some more technical elements of Teddy's game, nice little fakes leading to his Haraigoshi. And another technique that he has developed in recent years, Sumigaishi. He scores a Wazari with that. Faking again. And he doesn't have the explosive power that he once had, but he's still able to grind people over and get a score. Here he is against the Georgian. And he sets up a nice choke here. Hand across the back of the neck, tightens up the gi, quick tap. So the Grand Slam Brazil now against Kageura. And deep into golden score, Teddy manages to pull out this Harai Goshi. Gets some incredible lift. Not much rotation, but enough for a score. And despite Kageura having good grips, you can see his left hand, you know, should be enough to defend the Harai Goshi, but... Rainier's got great technique, knows what to do with his legs and his, his pulling hand. And against Tasoev here, I think this was the quarterfinals, he gets a Wazari. And then Tasoev, he, what looks like an Ochigari, but they eventually go to uh, the video referee and decide that this wasn't a score. And then Tasoev, unfortunately, he doesn't have much time on the clock and has to chase uh, Rainier down. But when you've only got a few seconds and you're a heavyweight, there's not much you can do. But I really do think Tasoev, he's, he might be the next person to throw Teddy Rainier. He's got good foot sweeps. Mura, on the other hand, uh, Teddy Rainier has dominated him quite often. With great throws like this, nice also to Gari, grab and go. Loses the grip, but turns it into a, a nice also to Makikomi. Puts his weight down on his sleeve hand, and rene has got a lot of weight to throw around, so that is a good option for him. Moving on now to the Grand Prix in Montreal. And uh, Teddy shows a nice little Harai Goshi here. But it's definitely not as explosive as it used to be. It's just kind of using leverage and his weight to score the Ippon. Here's another angle. And against the American here, nice little counter foot sweep. So the American goes in for an Ashibarai and then he counters that well. Another angle here. Great control. But then Teddy came up against Kripalik, and Kripalik is a much stronger, more explosive uh, judoka, I would say, at the moment. Teddy is definitely the slower of the two, with Kripalik coming up in weight. And I do think Kripalik, along with Tasoev, might be the biggest challenge uh, for Teddy right now. Kripalik's got great Nawaza, and is really making Teddy work. I would not be surprised to see Kropelik pin or choke out Teddy Rainier at some point. You don't really see Teddy's uh, now was it that often. So I'm not sure exactly how he will do in future matches. 
But in this match here, Teddy manages to get a, a nice Karaiboshi, similar to uh, how he threw Kageura in Brazil. Just enough to score, here's another angle. So he doesn't have the sleeve grip, he's got two hands on the lapel, which means that Kripalik can, uh, can plant his hand out here, try and stop the rotation, but on his side, at one point during that, and against Harasawa, who has a lot of trouble against Teddy when Teddy goes for a cross grip over the top. He's always trying to stop that overhand grip, but sometimes forgets about it going over the other side. Harasawa doesn't have to deal with that much in Japan, being usually the, the taller a judoka in the fight. He's definitely one of the taller Japanese judoka, so he's not used to this kind of style. Another angle here. Great control by Teddy to maneuver him into a score. And the last highlight here, just from the Grand Slam in Paris. This was the, the one match Teddy had before fighting Kageura. So there's only one. Only one throw from Teddy here. The crowd love it, but uh, what was to come after that was quite a shocker. But anyway, Teddy, you know, with his wins at Doha, he's looking good, moving into the future. Definitely hope to see him at the Olympics, but he has some strong competition coming his way. So it'll be interesting seeing him go forward. Right, guys, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.